Good afternoon, guys, and happy Thursday to all of your sin training faces. Guys, it still feels like it's so early in the week. It still feels like, because I was all thrown off because Christmas was like on Monday and then my dad was home on Tuesday, so he didn't leave for work till Wednesday. And so it just felt like really off. Um, but yeah, I guess that makes sense though. Cause my dad was like, oh yeah, like, you know, that he had a four day weekend and then he's like, and then I go back to work for three days and then I think he has a four day weekend again because of where New Year's Eve or whatever falls on. Cause it falls on a Monday, right? Or is it? Yeah, I think so. Um, but yeah, guys, I made my bed and look at this. <laughs> Do you want to get up there? <laughs> it's funny. He looks like Echo with his big ears. You look like your sister Echo. Especially when you were stretching like that. I see little remnants in the other puppies too. You guys know the the other three that we fostered. Sometimes in some of them. Like sometimes Charlie or Bravo will look like. I'm sorry I called you the wrong name. <laughs> sometimes Bravo will look like um, Delta. And sometimes uh, Charlie looks like Echo just because of his big ears. Um, but because Delta was very like. Well I guess Echo was tiny and small too. But she was like. I don't know. Sometimes, too, like, their voices will sound very similar to the way that the girls sound. But I don't know. Alpha, he was a very unique puppy. <laughs> he was um, very different than, <laughs> than he was special, guys. Um, but, no, he was crazy. That's why we could not keep him. I mean, he was just, like, a nut. And, like, the two of them together, I think he, he honestly, he was a very independent dog and was, like, very much like he tried to like I don't know, he was such a daredevil though like when he was like a little puppy he used to climb up to like the third step or whatever on our stairs and jump off of them like what kind of dog does that like he just enjoyed like doing like boy type things and so yeah he um he I think is a very independent and like daredevil like the two of these dogs I mean I don't know because we didn't you know keep the other ones but I feel like they really like fit well together don't you Charlie you and Bravo fit so well together I feel like it's so weird too because we kept the ones that like we kept Charlie or Bravo and Charlie we are you scratching your ear guys is making noises did you guys hear him Oh, he's not making them anymore. Okay, he was. Nope, now he's gonna lick himself. Um, but anyways, yeah. It's just weird, though, because, like, we didn't keep, like, the first two letters. But we kept ones that were next to each other, Bravo and Charlie, instead of keeping, like, Bravo and Delta or something like that. But I wouldn't know what it's like to not have a Charlie boy. I'd be so sad without a Charlie boy. Yeah, and without a Bravo boy. I don't know where he went. He disappeared. Um, but yeah, guys, I spent a little bit of time. I tidied up my room today. You guys can tell I made my bed because my um, other blanket. Well, actually, no, this one. I washed it already. But this one, this morning, I had down here at the foot of my bed where the puppies normally sleep. And um, Charlie had hairball all over it. So I swear, every single day, I think these dogs are more and more like cats. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I cleaned that up and took that straight out. It's weird, too. It always happens in the morning. Like, they'll wake me up in the middle of, like, not, not in the middle of the night, but they'll wake me up, like, super, super early in the morning because they've had a hairball or something like that in my bed. So, I washed that, and I was like, you know what? I'll just, because Matthew, too, had been asking for me to wash his comforter, and so I was like, okay. So, I washed one of them already. Um, along with my blanket and then washed my pillowcases as well too so I got new pillowcases or rewashed my pillowcases on my bed and now I have my other comforter is in the washing machine right now and I have some too because Jack I told you guys I think yesterday or two days ago or something like that Jack had put his um his like sleeping bag in the washing machine and so he just uses a, like a throw blanket upstairs but I was like okay I'll wash it so I'm washing that, or just, it's in the dryer right now to put that in there. So since I w had that in the laundry already, and I was like, okay, I'll just do a bunch of blankets and things like that. So that's why this one was washed most recently, which is why I put the other one in the washing machine. But if I do have more reds or like pink blankets, I might wash them. But see, I don't think we really have any that are dirty. I'll have to go and check. That's what I've been doing is <laughs> like going around and checking to see like, okay, what blankets do we need washed or like bedding and stuff like that. 
and asking people because my parents have enough where they have like three sets of bedding where they can like have one in the wash have one on their bed and have one that's like ready to be changed out if they need to with me i really only have like one like two sets of bedding and one i told you guys too i couldn't find the fitted sheet for so um i had to use this regular sheet on my bed um but i have two comforters which is nice though so like i alternate rotate or rotate washing one like i might wash one every other week or something like that um and then two my throw blankets are kind of on a need to wash basis because sometimes they end up in the washing machine more than I'd like them to because like today I had a puppy throw up on one of them <laughs> and um, yeah, sometimes that just kind of stuff happens. Or two because I will put this blanket a lot of times or maybe one of my other blankets at the foot of my bed. They're not supposed to lay right here, but a lot of times I'll put one of the blankets at the foot of my bed so that they can lay down here. And they get all their fine dog hair all over it, so it does need to be washed a little bit more regularly. Um, but whatever blanket I have at the foot of the bed normally is like separate. Like I, That way I don't have to wash my comforters quite as much. But yeah, Charlie keeps trying to figure out what on earth I'm talking about. I was trying to say how you are not supposed to be sleeping there. You're supposed to be sleeping over here. That's you. That was what I was saying. Oh, what, do you hear me, Matthew? But yeah, guys, so I did a whole bunch of, not a whole bunch of laundry, but I did get to, I mean, all of our laundry actually for the week is done, which is awesome, because I was like ahead of the game this week. But then um, I also got blankets and stuff like that washed with it, which is awesome. And then two guys, look at that. No dishes in the sink. Yay. Our dishwasher's still full of dirty dishes, which is awesome. I love this one. There's, I don't even have enough dishes to actually run a load of dishes. Um, that's awesome. But yeah, so I finished up. I just washed whatever needed to be washed, did the laundry. And look at you guys. We have more snow. Oh my goodness. There's so much snow. Can you guys see it out there? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have no clue how much we got, but we did get a bunch more. Why aren't you in my room? You're out here. Oh, and look at that one. She does not fit well on these uh, recliners at all, and she's scared when they're open. So, um, yeah, she. <laughs> you can see she's all smooshed up in them. You fit just perfectly. Yeah, little probably fits. But, yeah, guys, we got more snow today, which at first I was like, oh my gosh, snow! And I was like, kind of happy, but I'm not at the same time, only because, like, the earlier it snows in December, the longer the snow is going to last. Because we normally have snow now. Like, sometimes, and I don't even, maybe even last year too, it didn't snow until like January or something like that. One year, I remember, it didn't even start snowing until like late January or something like that. Like, it was cold out, but it wasn't snowing. Which made it feel a little bit better. But when there's snow on the ground, it's like, you can't even like... I don't know it's just like you have to go out in boots and like you know whereas like if it was cold in the summer or in the winter time like in January or something like that if I was like oh you know I just have to go put something in the freezer I quick just like throw flip flops on go run something out to the outside freezer and come back inside but now it's like I have to get all dressed up to go outside when there's snow on the ground which I don't like doing so yeah guys I we have that, and like I'm kind of happy. I was kind of happy. I was like, oh, snow, like it's so nice. I like when it's the fresh snow, but once it's like, like been like, you know, two, three days, and now the snow's starting to look dirty, and like there's like, you know, the snow plows have like gotten to it, and like people have walked in it and everything like that, and it's all like packed down then, or it's like started to melt and then like froze over again. That's just nasty. Like, nobody likes that kind of snow. Like, we like the freshly just fallen snow. And then I want it to melt again. <laughs> like, if it honestly, if it lasted for like 24 hours and then was gone for like, you know, maybe like 72 hours or something like that. Or how is, is that like three days? <laughs> um, is it 72 or 74? Oh, my brain's too tired to do math right now. But we ended up having it for just a short period of time. And then it's gone for like a little while. And then it freshly fallen snow again. And then it melts and then it's gone for a little while. Like I feel like I could live with that in winter. But it's like now we're going to have snow. That like, Because honestly I looked, I opened up my curtains this morning. I was like, oh the snow's almost gone. Like the neighbor's roof was like almost clear of snow. I mean there's still like 
a good portion of it on the ground but then I, it started snowing again today so yeah I like have mixed feelings about it too because it's still so early in winter that I'm like oh like snow oh my gosh it's so exciting but then like once I get to like the beginning of January and like it's been sticking around like I'm already kind of starting to get sick of it but I feel like it's still early enough where I'm like still like oh look it's snowing and I feel like I do that too I'm like oh look it's snowing and I'm like oh my gosh this is so cool like snow and then I'm like oh now I hate it now I want it to go away like it's just like that initial like it's snowing kind of thing that I get like excited about and then I'm like I guess I'm more excited to see how much snow we get because like in the past like when we've had blizzards and stuff like that I'm like oh my gosh how much snow are we gonna get and then like you know it's kind of cool especially when I was in school and like school got canceled or whatever <laughs> it's good to say snow got canceled um like I said guys I'm tired um but yeah like and I feel like I get excited for that but I guess I'm more excited for like wow like look at how much snow we got like that's so cool but then as soon as like it's been like I've seen how much snow we've got then I'm like okay now I'm done with it I don't care anymore so yeah guys I am gonna go take a shower and head to bed and get the puppies the puppies want to go bed go take a shower go bed go to Kayla's room <gasps> go to Kayla's room sometimes they know that word when I ask them if they want to go yeah you know where to sleep you're a good boy <laughs> I love you bravo oh you can give me kisses give my hand kisses Kick my hand, kiss it, Mr. Bobby. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Bobby. Okay, we're gonna go now. We're gonna go take a shower. <laughs> so, anyways, so I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, I'd love if you'd subscribe, and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So, bye, guys.